Welcome to the Silva Commissioning Platform, your complete tool for setting up and managing wireless lighting infrastructures. Our commissioning platform consists of two elements, a web app and a phone app, both making the commissioning process fast and easy. The process begins with the planning stage in our web app. Here you create and manage your wireless lighting infrastructures by uploading floor plans, marking lighting zones, assigning lighting control scenarios, and more. Everything at this stage can be done remotely. In fact, the building doesn't have to exist yet to prepare it for the Bluetooth mesh network. All you need is a floor plan. You start by creating your account. The registration process is plain and simple. When it's ready, you can log into the platform. Once logged in, you are introduced to My Projects section. This is where you create and manage all of your projects. A project can be an entire building, a single floor, or even one room. It is completely up to you and your requirements. You create a new project first by entering its name and then uploading an image of a floor plan. This is where you'll determine where and how the lighting control system is going to operate. You can always invite others to collaborate on the project as well. Coming back to our floor plan. Once imported, you can now create lighting zones. A zone is a combination of lighting devices that operate together to realize a particular lighting scenario. You can create a zone by clicking on a given space on the floor plan. Initially, you can name it and specify a lighting control scenario you wish to use in that zone. You can create as many zones as you want, each with its own lighting control scenario. You can select one of the predefined lighting scenarios or you can create your own custom one. By editing a scenario, you can choose its particular type, run, prolong and standby modes, brightness range and more. You can override the existing scenario with your modifications. This will cause other zones with the same scenario to work using identical settings. You can also save your modifications as a completely new scenario to be used in that zone and others as well. Once you're finished with creating zones in a building, you can leave the web app and enter the second stage of the process, the implementation stage. This is where you start using our mobile app to provision and set up devices on site. The connections between these devices will form the Bluetooth mesh network. First, log into the app using your account. Here you are presented with all the projects you created in the web app. You can enter any floor plan and see the lighting zones you previously marked. In order to start adding network devices to a zone, first select it from the floor plan and go to that exact location in the building. Then, using the proximity sensing feature of your phone, you can track all unprovisioned devices within its reach. Using the RSSI filter, you can narrow down the list of visible luminous and sensors to those that are the nearest. When choosing a device, it will identify itself by flashing repeatedly. If this is the device you wish to add to that zone, all that is left to do is to click the Add button and the provisioning process will start automatically. The system detects what type of a device it is, a sensor or a luminar and uploads all the necessary information to make it work as part of a given lighting scenario. The security procedures, such as the key exchange, are taking place in the background for the user's convenience. Using our commissioning platform, you can set up your own wireless lighting infrastructures without any lighting control experience, at the same time being confident that your mesh network will be fully prepared to realize basic to advanced lighting control scenarios.